Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome back to more Mega Man Legends. In the last video, we, bought a bu we fought a bunch of pirates called the Bonds, and now we're going to go fight even more of them. So, after saving City Hall, roll go- roll go at- roll. Kai tan talk me- oh sh- Okay, roll managed to fix up the van, and so now we can talk to her inside of the van. And now she can do stuff with like, item development, special weapons, as well as take us places. So, we want to go ahead and go to special weapons, because I made a little something special for you guys, and that is weapon information. So, here we have the splash mine. It's our first weapon that we get. It's basically a weapon, as she said before, we can lay mines down, they explode, yada yada yada. It's pretty much like the first weapon. I mean, it's not really, I don't think it's really that expensive in order to get. And of course we got our arm. Not much to really be said there. Can't upgrade it or anything. So we're kind of stuck with that for the moment. And like I said, it and like she said, it causes any to upgrade our weapons, but the info will be all there. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So, uh, nah, let's not item development yet. We haven't really picked up much anyway. So, let's go ahead and help the inspector. Who has gone this way, to the northern gate. Uh, I need to check my buster parts real quick. Yeah, I'll stick with the double- I'll stick with the dual powers. Hey, here comes somebody else! He doesn't look like a police officer! Hey, it's that blue guy again! We'll show him just like we showed that officer! We ain't gonna lose this time! Alright then. So now, now they got tanks. Not that much of a threat, really, if you can just circle it, because it takes too long for them to even try and track me down. The main thing I'm only getting Zenny for is for parts. Not really for upgrading the special weapons or anything. There's another tank. small zennies. I guess since we're only spending our zenny on buster parts, I guess you can consider it a form of score, maybe? Okay. Alright. Oh, it's you. Those pirates' weapons are too strong. We can't get close. It'll only be a matter of time before they find the treasure. We've got to do something, but, we, but what can we do? That's why you guys leave it to me. I'm Mega Man, after all. Okay then, so... Go ahead and take out this tank. See, now they have artillery cannons on the, on the, top, on the top of these hills now as well. But moving sporadically can kind of prevent them from even hitting me, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. Now, we can jump onto this, uh, onto this hill early. If we take this hill right here and we time our jump right, we can grab the ledge and get up here early. Normally, you're supposed to have an upgrade that lets you jump higher, but we don't need that. We're not noobs. If we check this garbage pail, it says it's empty. But, if we check... Oh, crap. If we check this little box right here, we get a safety helmet. Can't do anything with that yet. There's a soda machine if you guys are thirsty. And apparently, the person who gives us, sells us stuff actually is here for some reason. So, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this blast unit because it'll basically replace our power razor and increase our energy. So why not? I think I'll grab this sniper unit too because it increases range. Might need that later. So I'm going to replace this normal power razor with the blast unit. That way we just get an upgraded energy as well. Now whenever you upgrade energy, it increases the amount of shots you can fire in succession. See, now we can have now we can fire 6. Now we can fire 6 shots before we stop, I think 6, right? One. No, it's only 5. My bad. But yeah, anyway, don't have to worry too much about these guys, since we can just constantly fire a lot more now. It's a lot better. Look at me training these tanks. Training them like zombies.
I'm pretty sure Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will be out by the time I freaking uh, by the time I freaking uh, get this video uploaded anyway. There's more tanks. Alrighty. Stupid tanks, ain't got nothing on me out. Man, I get shot. Okay. Data's over here by that by that entrance over there. That's where we need to go, but we're not gonna go there yet. Why you may ask? Well that's easy. Because this is a 100% run, and 100% runs, we like exploring. Exploring's fun. That's why there's another entrance to the underground ruins just right over here. Let me just take out this tank. Alright then. And also, there's a little something right here we're gonna pick up. We get a flower. Isn't that cute? So we got this ruin over here. So let's go ahead and head in, see what we can find. Alright, just a one-way entrance so far. Hmm. Weird wall there. Looks like the walls here have been broken through. 1780 zenny. Okay, then. Here's a chest. Oh, it's a trapped box. That's another thing you need to watch out for. In this game, they added, like, mimics or trap boxes. Basically, the only thing you gotta do is that once you open them, you just gotta destroy them. The reward is somewhat greater than normal enemies, so I guess it, it kind of is a chest in itself. But there's a hole right here, too. And there's 1,510 zenny. Oops. Okay, so you can stop checking the hole now. Any day. Thank you. And now we just flat out transition to a different area. Wow, this place looks weird. It's pretty much one way. It's not like we can get up there. Well, if there's a ramp leading up to it, then yes. Watch out for the fireballs. Ow. <laughs> no, that, that totally just kicked me in the ass. Don't take my advice. It'll go against you. I'm not even sure why I'm attacking these things. It's not really any point. Want to make some jumps over here. Watch out for these guys, because they're just kind of hiding right here, right next to the chest. And we get a cannon kit. Then we just fall off. I don't think there's anything we can do for the time being. Anything else, as far as I know. Why well, screw it. I saw a door up there. I'm gonna go check it. It's just, it's also been a while since I played this game. But it's, it's not hard to remember where everything is. Alright, so where do you go? Okay, you go somewhere I can't even jump up to yet. Alright. Okay then. Guess we'll go ahead and head head back to the surface. We're done here already. Yeah, the thing about these underground ruins is that they're kind of like split up into parts. And that like, you can only explore kind of like one part at a time. It's not until you're like, ne like nearly at the end of the game that they're just that they're just suddenly all connected now. Because I love the way the I love the way that these ruins are interconnected like this. And basically, like this underground ruins area just connects the entire game together. It's really cool. But anyway, we gotta go ahead and get going where we need to go. Don't wanna spend time lollygagging with these tanks. Mega Man, it looks like the pirates are digging a big hole or something on the other side of this passage. Be careful. 
might as well go ahead and heal and save. It's always best to save here, because I guess this is one of those fights that kind of gets people. I mean, of course, assuming, of course, you don't know how to side roll. If you don't know how to side roll, then I'm not sure what to say to you. So it's a bit of a recap on how to do that before we go into this fight. You basically press left or right on the D-pad and press the jump button at the same time. So you press left and X at the same time, and then right and X at the same time. That's pretty much how you do it, so you guys just kind of keep that in mind. So we're not going to bother with these guys. What give? I dig and I dig and I'm still nowhere near the bottom. Maybe we will need that key after all. Master Teasel. He's coming. All right, everyone, quit digging. Our priority now is to get rid of our little blue friend, all right? Be careful and don't be fooled by his size. He's already beaten Bon and Tron. Let's do it. Roger. Oh, boy. Showdown with T-Bon. You must destroy the digging robot Marl Wolf. This robot's outer shell is heavily armored, but the hatch isn't necessarily defenseless. So you have to shoot the treads to slow the robot down, and then jump on the robot, jump on the robot from the rocks, and shoot at the hatch. Mission start. Let's do this. See, that's why you need the side roll because those big, those big green shots home into you, and there's pretty much next to nothing you can do to try and avoid it properly. Oh crap! Too close! Too close! Too close! Too close! So I think I'm gonna take the game's advice and actually destroy these uh, these treadmills, these tread tires or whatever they're called. He's walking backwards and everything. He's erratic. Alright then, time to climb up. So we need to get on level with that thing's top side. Okay, screw that tank. And I went the wrong way. Okay. There's many ways you can get up on this place. You just have to know the right path to take. Okay, it's this one. Damn it, I didn't mean to jump like that. Okay, Mega Man, you can stop dodge rolling. You're not being attacked yet. Alright then. Oh crap! Whew, that was close. We need to take this tank out because it's kind of in our way. There we go. Alright, just playing it safe there. Now we can kind of jump on there and just shoot it, or we can just shoot it from here, that works too. Well actually, if only it took a few more steps forward and we would have been alright. Okay, yeah, yeah, we get it. go. I guess I can't really hit it like that. Maybe I do gotta jump on the thing. At least I think so. Okay, off you go. Make sure you kind of put yourself off to one side before rolling. That way you don't just roll off the edge. Huh. Ah, dang it, I didn't make it. Okay, so I pretty much... Okay, let's try jumping on the thing the moment it comes into range. Alright. Bam. 
Alright, I'm on you now. Okay, he can't really hit me with that when I'm on his back like this. Okay, yep. That, okay, that's why I don't stand on it. Smart, 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 smart. Note to self, don't do that ever again. Alright. But I'm kind of... I kind of have faith in my uh, dodging skills, so I'm not going to worry that much. So I think once the hatch opens, I shoot it a bit, and then I jump off. That way I don't just get wrecked. Okay, there we go. Jump off. We're good. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yep, there I go. You learn something new every day. That's why I'm glad that I saved. Okay. We get to try that again. Good luck. Yay! I already died. Can you guys believe it? I suck at Mega Man. Who knew? Okay. Jump on him. Hatch opens. Shoot it. When it closes, jump the hell off. That's, easy. That's an easy enough rule to follow. At least we can just skip the cutscene this time and go straight into the fight, since we've already seen it. Mission start. Alright. So I'm gonna take out the wheels again, because I think that's actually part of what makes this easy. That bomb literally just bumped right in front of my face and it didn't hit me. Speaking of Mega Man, I gotta record Smash Bros. That's something I haven't recorded at all. Well, we have. Well, I have recorded Smash Bros. before, but it was stuff that never ended up getting uploaded because the quality of it was so bad. Because the Roxio, of course, is not a perfect capture card by any means. My Elgato is a hell of a lot better. Oh crap! I forgot there's a tank there. Ow! Freaking! Stop shooting stuff. Okay, tank's gone. Now I just gotta focus. Jump. Right. Can I jump back over? Yes. Alright. Saves me a bit of time. Yeah, you kinda have to aim down a bit before you uh before you shoot the hatch when it's far away. Okay, I get ya. It's more or less like the bottom half of the door that you want to shoot at rather than just the door itself. That kind of makes things that kind of makes things a little bit more understandable. All okay, unless I automatically lock on to crap like that. But it's nice to be better to safe than sorry. There we go. Get some hits in, yeah. Jump on this. Okay, and then jump back. Okay, I think I got a set pattern here. Just rinse and repeat, that's all it is. God, I made it seem like I just freaking died against this. Now I see like how easy it is. It's sad. Okay, I didn't get it that time because he sent those birds out. Okay. Up on. I 
apparently you deal extra damage when, like, the Surbot just ends up throwing, like, another bomb or something. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Victory jump. I won, Jay. How much does he think it cost to build that in the first place? I'm gonna get it. If it's the last thing I ever do, I'm gonna get it. Master Teaser, are you alright? Is Master Teaser? Just you wait. Oh, you're mine, blue boy. I'll get you. Time to go home. All right, then. Guess we'll get out of here. Yeah, that fight ended up being a lot easier once I figured that out. Okay, then. Mega Man, can you hear me? The mayor says there's something real important she has to talk with you about. Can you come back here? Roger. I'll head back to City Hall. If only we'd known there was someone like him here in the first place. We won't fail next time. We'll ambush him. Concentrate our firepower on him. <laughs> we won't cut him any slack just because we outnumber him. That kid's going down. Just wait till you see, Teasel. I've got a new robot I've been wanting to build that'll do the trick. That'll teach him. This time, we get rid of Blue Boy for sure. And get that treasure. Mega Man, good going! You showed those pirates who's boss. Are you on st are you staying on top of that bookcase? How can I thank you. You've done so much for us. I hope this will convince those pirates to give up. I'm afraid to think what might happen if they get their hands on the treasure. The legends say a horrible disaster will occur if it's ever unearthed. <sighs> Even if that's just a myth, lately we've been detecting increased activity underground. The Reaver bots are apparently activating of their own accord. It has me concerned. Maybe there's some truth to those stories about a horrible disaster? I wonder. Mega Man, would you be willing to explore the caves and dungeons on the island and see if you can find anything? You will? Oh, thank you so much. Here, you'll need this. Only the best diggers are able to get a Class A license. The best of the best. With that license, you'll be able to get into the sealed off sites. The ones those pirates have been trying to break into. I give you my permission to dig in the island's subgates. Just let me know if you find anything that can tell us about the treasure or that disaster that's supposed to happen if the treasure is disturbed. And I hate to mention this, but. If while you're digging, you find anything of value, it would mean a lot to us if you could donate it to help with the restoration of the city. Thank you again. Be careful. All right, can I do that now, I wonder? Mm. 
Wow, this is actually pretty cheap. Well, 5,000, of course. We have enough for that. I think we have enough for all of them. Yep, might as well go ahead and do that. This will be a big part of side questing later. So if you have the if you have the Zenny to go ahead and do this, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, just two more to do. See, this is this kind of like the cost is kind of affected by the uh, by how much damage the uh, bonds actually do to the to the buildings and stuff. And so that's why I always, that's whenever I try to, whenever I fight, uh, Chon, um, whenever I fight her, I try to keep her in that one spot to minimize the amount of damage she does to the buildings. Because if you try and fight her in the center, she'll practically just destroy all of the buildings without really giving a shit. And there we go. That takes care of all the donations. You're still in that bookcase, by the way. Okay, then. So, let's go ahead and talk to Roll see if we got anything new here. Alright, so let's go to iron item development and see what we get. The cannon kit was used to make the Power Buster. I was able to make you a new weapon. This weapon has a really long range and pretty good punch. But its rate of fire isn't, the great, isn't that great, so don't forget that when you get that when you get into a fight. The safety helmet hel <gasps> The safety helmet was used to make helmet. Okay, yeah. I just hope I didn't mess up my logic there. If you wear this, when you won't get knocked down by enemy attacks as easily, and you'll be able to survive long falls even if someone throws you off a cliff. Of course, you're not invulnerable, so you should still be careful. I bet it'll come in handy if you get into a fight in a high place. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Though, we are going to change to a weapon, our new one as a matter of fact, and that's right here, the Power Buster. So of course, it's basically a cannon that fires an explosion, there's not much else to it. But we're going to have this equipped because we need this to progress through the game later, though I'm only going to use it at that point in time. One shot's all we pretty much need. But I'm going to have it on me just, in ca just so when we get to that point. Now anyway, speaking of stuff, um, oh wait, that's right, we have permission to, the mayor gave us permission to explore the ruins now, so now I gotta have Roll take us to, uh, Cardon Forest. And this takes us back to where our ship is, but the first the first set of ruins we need to explore in this on this island is down this way, the direction opposite of where the town is. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I saw my Buster parts set up. Hmm. Looks like some ruin entrances right here. Ah. Uh, Ah, we'll come back to that. I'll just remember that's there. I was looking for mushrooms on the other side of the passage when a tank rolled up out of nowhere. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so you went through the ruins to get out? Okay, that makes sense. Mega Man. I may not be able to do much, but if you get in trouble.
trouble, get inside the car, okay? I'll get you back to safety. So here we go. Just a little bit more, Mega Man. We're almost there. So first we gotta take out these tanks along the way. We have to take these out, otherwise we'll can't move forward. Artillery cannon right here. Okay. Another artillery cannon. These guys go down pretty easily. I'm sorry, Mega Man. Oops. No, that wasn't your fault. I'm physics. They always kick my ass. Okay, then. Now, this is the last tank. Right? Oh no, there's one more. Okay, I'm an idiot. I missed the tank. Sorry everybody, false alarm. Alright, we're good. Oh, Mega Man, I'm so sorry. Hey, it's not your fault, physics. Let's go ahead and talk and save. Let's go ahead and talk to Data and save before we head in there. Well, actually, no, we can't head in there because it's the end of the video. I tricked you. Ha ha. That probably wasn't funny. Okay then. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this. That was the last. Of this is that's the end of this video of Mega Man Legends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, see you then.